Oh yeah my gosh, oh here we go! <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Betsy and today we're gonna have a little plant chat with a little glass of vino. Some people recently asked me if I could show, let me put this down because it's dangerous if it's in your hand all the time. You know, you're just throwing them back and throwing them back. So, some people recently asked me to do a video about trellising Hoyas and the fact of the matter is I don't have any trellised Hoyas. I don't really trellis my Hoyas. I have always purchased Hoyas that look really good as hanging plants because that's kind of my thing. I really like hanging plants like Hoya Mathilde or Lacunosa or Hoya Bella. Um, Hoya Bella, for example, is not really a climber at all. It's just a dangler and I think it looks really pretty that way. But I have three little Hoyas here that one, need repotting and two, ought to be trellised because they are definitely viners and they're climbing all over everything around them looking for something to vine onto and I feel like they are a bit stunted in their growth they're not producing new leaves uh, especially my Hoya fungi because it needs something to climb on and so it just keeps growing a longer and longer and longer vine looking for something on which to to grow but I'm not giving anything. So today we're going to trellis some Hoyas. I promise it's really super freaking easy. A little bit of fuel before we get started here. I, what are you gonna need? What are you gonna need? You're gonna need some new pots for your Hoyas. Don't overpot, you know. The general rule is it should only be like one inch or two or three centimeters larger in diameter. Oh my god, I'm gonna spill my plant everywhere. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be too much larger, right? You don't want a gigantic pot, so I usually make sure that the other pot fits kind of just snug. But you know what? Why don't you just cool your jets and stop throwing yourself around in like a freaking helicopter? You don't want to, you don't want to up pot too far, right? So you're gonna need some new pots for your Hoyas and you're gonna need your Hoya potty mix. I don't know why I'm talking that way. I'm super sorry about that. It's just, it just feels good for some reason to talk like this. I wish that I talked like this all the time. I wish I was just a caricature of somebody from Rhode Island. I think that's a Rhode Island accent. I'm not, I'm not actually sure. It might be, it might be Queens. Anyway, I have my Hoya soil, which is like a little bit of peat moss and perlite and a lot of tree bark from an orchid potting mix. So it's a really light, and fluffy mixture because Hoyas are generally epiphytes, so they really need a lot of air around their roots, just like orchids do. And then you're going to need your little trellises. These are the only ones that I could find at the garden center, so these are the ones that I have, even though they're not really my favorite shape and stuff. Uh, it's what I'm working with because I, I didn't order anything online. You wanna, you wanna pretend you're a deer for a minute, and then, um, and then get started because it's late in the day and you have other things that you need to do. I have Hoya Pubiclix, Hoya Fungii, and Hoya Dakii. These two I purchased, uh, I had made a previous video about it actually. I went to, where did I go? Rien Orchidee. And I'm sorry for my French accent. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not French. I have an accent. I'm always gonna have an accent. So stop making fun of me, French people. See, this one has like a super, super, super long, long vine. He really wants something to climb on to, so I'm going to give him something to climb on to. Let's start with that. Hoya Pubicux. So you gotta take that puppy out of here. Has a really healthy root system. I feel bad because he's wanted a new home for a really long time and I haven't been giving it to him. I don't know if it's a boy. Do you call your plants boys, or do you call them all her, or it, or he, him? What do you, he, she? What do you call your plants? Let me know. <laughs> I'm curious. I don't know why I, sometimes I just choose their gender uh, randomly, and I don't know why I, I choose that specific gender. We have the root system here, and we have a mess. And we're going to start a little bit, a little bit in here, a little bit of soil in there. I mean, this is basically just repotting a plant, but with a trellis involved. It's not super complicated, but it's a task. Just put that in there, you know, 
And then put your plant in there. I think the last one, I'm gonna just do a close-up video of it as I go. Put your Hoya in there so that I'm gonna actually poke two of his leaves through the center hole of the trellis, if I can, just to make sure that he's like kind of held on there so that he's upright. And then fill the rest with more potting mix. It's pretty easy, right? That's not difficult. It's pretty simple. I don't know why I've never done it before. I've been putting this off for like months. I don't know why. I just keep looking at my Hoyas and I'm like, that guy really wants something to climb up on. But I'm not feeling it today. Uh, I don't feel like, uh, I don't feel like getting my hands dirty today. I have other things to do. So he's all, he's in his little pot and the trellis is standing upright. And then I'm just gonna take very gently, very, very gently. So don't have too much wine, right? right? <laughs> gently take the vine because the vines are so fragile when they're first growing, it's really easy, like you'll fiddle with them and then a week later you see that the tip of the vine has died and it's like, ah, because it's never gonna grow from that tip again. But it will encourage growth like lower on the plant. It's just, that's not really what I'm trying to achieve today. And I already did it once with one of this, this guy's vines. I'm gonna pull him through here. And you know, you don't have to like wrap it around in any crazy way because it's gonna find its own way. Like they are made to vine and they'll, they'll find their own way. The other one, he's got another vine over here and I'll just kind of tuck it around so that the leaves hook him. I'll show you. Just like this. And I'm just gonna wrap it around so that the leaves kind of hold him onto the trellis there. And then he's gonna grow. Voila! Now you have a trellised Hoya Pubicalix. Pubicalix. I never know how to say it. Who's next? Uh, first I'm going to dump this soil so that I have more space to work with. And try not to make a big mess. I'm a really clean person. I'm a very clean and tidy person. I vacuum my apartment like twice a week. I'm not crazy, okay? I just really like a clean space. A lot of people think because I have like 115 plants or something and two cats on top of that like I tell people like yeah I have two cats and 115 plants and they're like wow this lady's a mess she must be a freaking disaster I would hate to see her flat but actually my apartment is like super clean like Julie Nicole clean you know what I'm talking about she's a clean lady so it's like that I'm gonna clean up this dirt and then get back down to business okay who's next Let's do Hoya fungi next. I love this Hoya so much. It's so beautiful. Big green leaves. It's just gorgeous. I threw that dirt away. Some people have asked me, is it okay to reuse potting mix? And it is. And you can bake it. You can, re you can sterilize the soil by putting it in an oven-proof baking dish and putting it in the oven for like 30 minutes to an hour at like 180 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, pretty low. Uh, that's like 82 to 80 to 90. It's like 83 to 92 degrees Celsius, something like that. Um, so a pretty low temperature, just bake it for like an hour and re-sterilize it. And that's fine for like soil mix, peat moss, uh, or tree bark from orchid potting mix, perlite, those things aren't gonna catch fire at those temperatures, but I wouldn't like crank your oven. You're not gonna get it done any faster if you like crank the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, so don't do that. Um, and you can read about sterilizing soil online. I personally don't do it. Uh, it's a personal choice. I just tossed that out and I'm using new soil, but uh, maybe in the future I'll reuse potty mix. I don't know. Okay, this guy is already kind of trellised on his hanger. He's clipped on there. I bought him that way. So I'm going to unclip him from his little home without breaking him, preferably. <laughs> you want to be careful, especially if it's this top heavy that it doesn't fall over and snap because wouldn't that be a B word, wouldn't it? Okay. Got trellis inside and it's the same freaking thing. You just put the oil inside next to the trellis and add, just add soil. 
And I'm, again, I'm going to tuck his leaves into the trellis a bit here, I'm trying to be delicate. I don't know, maybe this trellis isn't big enough for him. I don't have any bigger trellises though. Hmm, I just think about this. I did not consider how big his leaves were and, well, well, it has a really small root system so I can't put it in a bigger pot. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. In with the soil. Down with the man. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the wine. It makes me want to put my feet in the sand. Maybe I'll go to the beach soon. That sounds nice. Isn't it nice to go to the beach and just put your feet in the sand and like feel the cold, wet sand on your feet? I need a vacation. <laughs> it's July and I need a freaking vacation. I think we'll go to the beach soon. All right, that's done. That's good. And with the vine, see, yeah, it's kind of true. I think that this trellis is not big enough for this guy, but we'll see what happens. At least maybe now he'll produce more leaves, which is really what I want to see. And I feel like he's not producing leaves because he's not able to vine. So there you go. He's all trellis up on this trellis, which is not my favorite, but will do the trick. Ta-da! The last one I'm gonna show you a close-up so you, you can see the action. Cause you know, you're not very close. It's more about me yakking and talking about my Hoyas. All right, here I have my Hoya Dekii. It's been doing really well recently. In spite of the heat wave, it doesn't require really high humidity. It's been doing well in like 40% humidity. All three of these have been doing pretty well in like 40% humidity. Sorry that you can't see my face. And it's put out this new leaf, which is extra shiny compared to the old ones, and it's putting out these new leaves as well. So I'm really happy with the progress that this plant is making. It's again trellised to the little hanger, so we're going to take him off of there and take this off of here. This is such a beautiful plant. I love, I love Hoyadakii. Okay, I see in this potting mix because I didn't. Uh, make this. This came from Rianokide and it has like little bits of this looks like terracotta like pellets. It has mostly tree bark from orchid mix. It's very sandy. It's a very coarse mixture which is perfect for Hoyas except it has this giant piece of wood that it's rooted onto and I don't really want to rip the roots here. Hmm. I might just leave that because I don't it already has such a small root system, I don't want to damage the roots. Just mix it in here. Excuse me. Let's do this backwards for y'all. Uh. I just put this in here. Kind of around the trellis. I put the trellis more to like the back like one side of the, the back of the pot, one side of the pot. I don't really put it right in the center, personally. Again, it's a personal choice. You can do whatever you want. You can trellis your plants however you want. That's just how I'm doing it because I like it when the plant faces one direction for the most part. Okay, this one is a little more complicated because he's really top heavy. Oh gosh, okay. I mean, there's really no art to it here. It's like you just put it However, it uh, stays. <laughs> it's not uh, so. I can see it's going to be facing this direction for the most part. Oh, putain! Okay, and I'll put some mix in there and get him all potted up. So there you have it. Three trellis plants today, and I have such a sense of accomplishment because, like I said, I've been putting this off for so long. I just haven't wanted to get my hands dirty. I haven't wanted to repot plant lately. And the other day I did, but it was out on the terrace, but I can't film on the terrace. So I have to do it inside, which means I'm gonna make a mess, which means I have to get the vacuum cleaner, which means the cats are gonna be terrified. And uh, yeah, there we go, all done. Look how easy and fast that is. It like takes no effort whatsoever. You just stick that puppy on there and you're good to go. And if you have, a lot of, uh, where did my little clip go? If you have to stabilize it on the trellis, you can just get these handy little clips 
Any freaking time now, my camera will focus on my hand. Do 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 do. do. There we go. Okay. Uh, get these little clips, little clippy doodles. You can get ones that are pinchy, or I have some green ones. If I can open this with one hand. If I can hold a glass of wine, I can open this bag with one hand. These are kind of big, but you get the idea. Like you can get these little clippy doodles and they're available at the garden center. Or I bought mine on Amazon because my garden center had, didn't have small ones. And you just put it on there. Oh my goodness, it's so simple, see? Gosh, it's just so easy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I really can't get this on here. <laughs> Okay, there. I mean, this one is a little big for it, but you can, you can find smaller ones. There you go. You have your third trellis for you. And a room full of dirt. And there you have it. That is how you trellis up some hoyas. Boom. Uh, not very complicated. You just have to make sure that your trellis is big enough for the hoya that you want to trellis, right? Little mistake that I made today, but I will soon purchase a bigger trellis for my hoya fungi. I hope that you enjoyed this. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions for future videos, leave it down below and I'll get back to you when I can. I just want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like this and you like other stuff about plants. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Cheers!